Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your extra daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with AmaXM445. For, uh, this vehicle is... Uh, this tank received a buff lately and it became so much better. To say that straight fellas, this tank was an average tank in the best case scenario and now this vehicle became a great tank. Um, pretty much the whole difference what we're gaming did they change the armor of this tank and in a way if you know the Amex M454 tier 10 this is the same tank in the tier 7. It is very very powerful, it is capable of doing a lot of bad things for the enemies. Um, and it is absolutely amazing vehicle in my humble opinion. I think this tank um, might be kind of the new T29. If people loved the T29, right, there is a humongous chance they might enjoy this vehicle. Obviously, speaking about the T29, we are going to have a video about their tank as well. This video is going to go next, but I think this tank is definitely um, worth a highlight at this point. When this tank is shining, this tank is shining whenever you are playing against the lower tier vehicles, right? If you are going to meet Projet or Scorpion or whatever else you name it, it's not going to be as great as you would love to say. But if you are meeting someone uh, who is lower tier, this tank definitely have some horns and this tank can spank, uh, spank some ass. This is the most important thing to say, fellas. Um, other than that, what I can highlight about this vehicle, the gun handling of this tank is absolutely amazing and it is glorious. Now speaking about the gun choices, I decided to go with a 240 alpha damage gun to 12 millimeters of penetration, so you really need to shoot gold. But if you want to shoot gold, you have two 59 millimeters of penetration and 1,250 meters of the shell velocity, which is obviously uh, way better than a standard shells, right? This is very important thing to highlight. All in all, I think our team is winning this flank pretty heavily. So what we are going to do, we are going to get involved here. And we are going to make a T30, uh, T43 um, look like a fool. We are going to spank him like there is no tomorrow, and we are going to make sure he is going to uh, regret his life choices. You can actually bully tier 7 vehicles without bigger problems whatsoever with this tank, especially if they are making a decision not to load gold. As you can see, if in the past you could sp you could get spanked by the tanks like this and they could penetrate you with auto aim, um, things changed drastically and now you can actually bully them by making pressure up front and by spanking them like there is no tomorrow. In a way, for me, this vehicle is like a bit less accurate Tiger one with way more armor. This is how it looks like and this is what this vehicle is able of doing. So looking into this game, I wish to say we could have done something different and we could have um, slaughtered everyone, but unfortunately the first decision which I have made in this game, I lost a lot of HP uh, so we need to be happy with this kind of score. Definitely not ideal game, but considering it lasted 3 minutes uh, at least three times longer than I usually last. It is not that bad whatsoever, fellas. So looking into the score for a first game, we will accept this Burnet Pancake. We show the dominance against the tier 7 medium tank like there is no tomorrow. And we, I would say, we made it work to okay extent. Obviously, it's not ideal game by any shape or any form. Anyways, 1.6 thousand da damage. We blocked quite a bit and uh, we made some profits. 25,000 profits to be exact. Game lasted 3 minutes. Welcome to the world of tanks. Let's go for round number 2. We are back and I quickly want to show you one thing. If you care about the tank ratings, check out the index page. You will find everything what you could ever need. Uh, by saying this, I mean we have uh, um, ratings of the tank, general ratings, sub ratings, 
um, which I will change beginner friendliness on this tank because I think it became average. Um, equipment setup, crew setup, and so on, so on. And field modifications as well over there. If you will click here, you will get a field modifications. Plus, we have many languages, so feel free to check it out. Meanwhile, I really want to highlight this game we are playing in probably best game we are uh, we can play hold down and what that means hold down means this tank has uh, um, this tank got changed lately um, this tank got a very nice turret armor I think it's like over 200 millimeters thickness so what that means that means we can actually spank the enemies playing hold down now which is absolutely amazing if before um, you were made out of paper and you could not do shit, nowadays you can actually be very, very well involved and you can start spanking enemies like there is no tomorrow. I'm afraid of the artists, don't get me wrong, I am very, very afraid, uh, I am very, very well aware of them, but there is nothing what I can change about this. This Fava and this M44, both of them are going to be relatively annoying and there is nothing, I repeat, nothing what I can do about this. Anyway, we are not going to focus on the negatives we are going to look for positives and speaking about the positives there is Africa IS you know what that means that means we are going to eliminate the most bot he woke up after first shot mother tracker and I'm not insulting the gentleman this is how the bots are working in the world of tanks at least usually pretty much how the things are looking like they are getting hit and they are starting to work it's not like i am shaming this gentleman as a player itself now pay attention to the gun handling of this vehicle gun handling is uh, extremely extremely good you can kind of snap and you can hit the long range shots with this vehicle as well which is absolutely amazing if you would ask me so this is definitely a positive thing for this vehicle Meanwhile, I am paying attention to what is happening around us and I would like to spank this guy like there is no tomorrow. Or maybe he was going for a smoke break. I remember when I used to be a smoker, there was a time when I was... Uh, um, when I was going for uh, for a quick one in the start of the game because that was weird behavior. Aka, uh, he was raising his gun at the time. I don't even know. Hard to say. Anyways, it is how it is. We are not focusing on the gentleman. He is the past for us and we are looking to the future now. As you can see, we are playing extremely, extremely aggressively and we have absolutely no fear whatsoever. We are spanking the tier 7 Italian tank destroyer and obviously we are showing dominance to literally maximum. And I would say uh, this game is pretty successful if you would ask me. I decided to fully aim my shot. Unfortunately, I could not pen a trade or I suppose to say I could not hit the cupola of this gentleman so yeah shame anyways so much better game 2.5 thousand damage 200 assisting damage already done and this is only the start obviously I believe I do not need to mention the blitz games everything is going um, extremely quickly and world of tanks is uh, arcade for a long time you know speaking about how many how many minutes the game is taking and how fast games are going overall. And to be fair with you, I was surprised. Some people do not mind that whatsoever and some people are having a great time, you know. Um, quick blitz games, boom, 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 easy. And you are going to the other game without effing your brain too much. Beautiful gun accuracy, fellas. For a tier 7, this gun accuracy is absolutely ridiculous and um, absolutely amazing, I would say. This is very good. Meanwhile, what do we need to do now? We need to go through the middle of the field and we are going to be completely fine. I would love to see that light tank, light tank is in the base defense, I see, well, hashtag never lucky, ooh, what you are doing here, yeah, unlucky my man, unlucky, well, mistakes were made by this gentleman, what I will do now, I will take my time to go like this and to um, get some assisting damage or damage deal from the gentlemen who are sitting here in the back and who are enjoying themselves. All in all, I would rate this battle as a great success. Uh, we had extremely good matchmaking for ourselves. We had extremely good uh, um, 
play overall we did not receive any counter from the enemy side although i was a bit paranoid about the smvs if they are going to play hold down properly this is not going to be as fun as i would love to say so in the same time uh yeah great game what changed the most about this tank is um armor armor of this vehicle significantly increased now and if in the past it used to be extremely extremely um, hard tank to play with and let's say uh, players who have the most knowledge of the world of tanks they uh, we are able to make this tank work things change it completely and since the tank received so much armor you can actually play hold down pretty well and i would say uh, the tank became so much um, so much better, you know? Speaking about this game, all in all, I would say we did everything properly. The score is great. We spotted quite a bit. We did uh, a lot of damage considering it is a tier 6 game and we are playing with a tier 7, right? Um, because well, I am saying this because the hit points pool is not the greatest, right? Um, other than that, beautiful, 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 beautiful performance and even more beautiful tank. I think this tank is going to be like a hidden gem until people will understand that he has shit enough armor. So looking into all of this 3.5 thousand damage, 1000 assisting damage, we got the first class. It is just showing how people are performing nowadays with this vehicle. One point, uh, close to 1.4 base experience and we hit most of our shots as well. Plus, we made 55,000 pro profits with this vehicle because I did not spam it gold. If you are spamming gold, this tank is so much better. It is even better than I showed there to you. Beautiful game. Let's go for round number three. Paris against the tier eights. Okay, in this game I'm going to load the full gold, fellas. In this game I am going to load the full gold. Why the heck not? Um, the tank will behave so much better at this point, at least that's what I want to believe. Um, we have faster shell velocity and we have way better uh, penetration and obviously in the same time I can highlight how it is looking like whenever we are um, whenever we are playing with a tank uh, to the best of its abilities and you will see the difference uh, um, with a gun even more now by the way this map for light tanks became even shitter than it was before because we're gaming fix at this crossing now and it's even harder to play with the light tanks if in the past you could get some early spotting nowadays it's so much more difficult to do that so yeah good luck while playing with the light tanks here okay meanwhile we knock the trees uh, between us and between enemies so at this point we are going to try to punish uh, uh, them without asking their name right that's what we are going to do at this point, I don't need to be too aggressive, I don't need to be over aggressive, that's what I'm trying to say. And I am just simply waiting until enemies will uh, make a bit of pressure. This guy should peek in a moment, so I'm going to go for a blind shot, although that was a bad one. Unfortunately, I hit probably um, a wall or something, so I'm going for another one. This should be a hit, at least that's what I would guess. And at this point, we are just waiting here and we are just enjoying ourselves in fact i changed my mind i don't want to wait anymore i kind of want to get involved in this situation and i want to start spanking enemies like there is no tomorrow not the easiest thing to do but we will try to do our best or i could make a bit more pressure maybe this is the right way to do the things how are you doing that was pretty bad shot by me but you know what the best thing of all this this 50 tp he doesn't know he is uh, he is exposing his frontal track for us so we are going to take this opportunity to be the living crap out of this gentleman um i don't really need the gold ammunition against him so we are going to uh, reload standard ammunition and now we are going to go back to the gold once again um i think the right way for us to play this game is going to be to to cross we are Mr. Gardes, the main reason why am I saying so is um, we can play somehow decently hold down and I am not too afraid of the IS-2 
Uh, the main reason being is why am I not too afraid of this gentleman is because um, he has 175 millimeters of penetration if I'm not mistaken so I couldn't care less about him at this point. Yes, he can penetrate me, but this is not going to be as simple as he would uh, as simple as he would love to. He needs to aim his shots. Ah, APCRs. Okay, APCRs make sense. Obviously, with APCRs, his life just a bit is a bit easier for obvious reasons. Doesn't really matter too much because we can get involved to the maximum and we can say hello for the enemies playing over there. Uh, quite bad decision from me to try to cross like this. Um, the main reason why is it a bad decision for me is um, it is just simply not worth it. Um, I am having extremely bad angle against the enemies at this point, so this is not what I am looking for, for obvious reasons. Okay, let's try to relocate a bit from here, although I have a feeling we have a cupola of the IS visible and if you do not have it visible yet we are going to have it now beautiful 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 okay let's see what we can do for s1 we cannot penetrate s1 with a standard ammunition because he has uh, um quite a bit of armor so instead of shooting the standard ammunition i am going to load the high explosives because apcrs will not help us in this kind of situation so keep this in mind it simply won't help us so, what I want to do instead, I can see this gentleman trying to run for his life, I want to track him, that is the first thing, he is tracked, he is a bit angry on me, and he is looking at me like, hmm. Mm -hmm. And Leo is sitting on the corner as well, very very smart son of the banana. Nothing to do, nothing to change, that was a very very great peek by this gentleman, and we need to accept what we got now. I know, uh, speaking about aggression, I am playing very aggressively with this vehicle in this game. Uh, I am very, very well aware of that, but to be completely honest with you, I don't mind to do that. I think we can afford being aggressive with this vehicle at this point. Obviously, a lot of things are depending on the angles whenever you are whenever you are playing the game. Uh, even the best tank, even the best tool will not work if you are going to play like a special mother trucker and you are going to go sideways for the enemies. You know, it simply w it won't work. That's all I can tell. Um, at this point, I'm just waiting until Mr. Leo is going to peek sideways here. If he's peeking sideways, we are just simply spanking him like there is no tomorrow and uh, he can't cry um, himself to sleep, right? This is what we are looking for and that's what we want to do. Let's wait, we have all time. We have all time in the world. Good. This gentleman peeked and he got slaughtered. Very, very nice. Okay. By the looks of it, Suka Pershing uh, decided to be a bit more aggressive. I am thinking at this point, maybe I could try to take this position up here and play hold down against them. This is what is happening in my head and I think we have uh, all chances to do that. Let's see, can we? No, not really. Okay, we need to get uh, closer to the corner here. Mm -hmm. We need to get closer to the corner. Meanwhile, our guard is definitely not very happy. Comet is trying to run. Comet, it's impossible to run. It's impossible to go. <laughs> oh boy, my man. <laughs> My man, <laughs> what? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done, my man? What have I done? I, you think I did that on purpose? How I supposed to do this? Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. The guy the guy is playing with a minimap like this. The guy is playing with a minimap like this. He's not looking where he is driving. I'm trying to fall back to give him a space to move and he can try to go around me and he's blaming me. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, have you ever heard the saying there is no medicine from stupidity? 
have you ever heard that? Well, that is the situation. Anyways, uh, let's teleport to the scoreboard. And we are back, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunate defeat, but oh well, what can you do? 2.2 thousand damage, 2 kills, 900 assisting damage. I am feeling pretty great speaking about this game. Um, we are top by experience. We are... Fifth by the damage, which is completely fine, uh, and we did twenty. And did we did got twenty-eight thousand profits? Although I did not pay it for ammunition, so this is the thing. Probably I have a lot of ammunition in store. That's why I did not pay it for it, and I just noticed that we hit most of our shots. Although we did not penetrate all of them. Great game, all and all, and great session. Looking into this performance with this vehicle, we. Played for 2.5 thousand damage and for 600 assisting damage. So the session overall is solid banana out of 10. I am happy about this and I can tell you one thing fellas. This tier 7 is so much better than it was before. I would highly recommend to check it out and to play one or two games. Also in the same time if you haven't seen today's uh, YouTube video on the main channel check it out. I'm make 65T and it's way better time than it was before. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a great time and you enjoyed yourself and see you very very soon. Skill is out for today. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.